Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Prepare yourself for 30 thought-provoking questions covering various aspects of the Holy Bible. Before we start, please subscribe and like this video to help us spread the Word of God. After the quiz, share your score in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We also have an exciting opportunity for you. Click the Join button to become a channel member. As a member, you'll get access to exclusive content that will enhance your biblical journey, and you'll be supporting us in sharing the Word of God with more people. Are you ready? Let's jump into the video. Question 1. What did Abraham say to God in concern for the righteous living in Sodom if the city were to be destroyed? A. Will you indeed sweep away the righteous with the wicked? B. Shall not the judge of all the earth do what is just? C. If I find fifty righteous in the city, I will spare the whole place for their sake. D. Perhaps there are fifty righteous within the city. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And Abraham drew near and said, Wilt thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Book of Genesis, chapter 18, verse 23. Question 2. What was Abraham's reaction upon hearing Sarah's laughter after God's prophecy about them having a son at their old age? A. He laughed along with Sarah. B. He rebuked Sarah. C. He asked God to forgive Sarah. D. The Bible does not record Abraham's reaction to Sarah's laughter. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety bear a child, which am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed I will return unto thee, according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Book of Genesis, chapter 18, verses 12 to 14. Question 3. Who did Abraham buy Machpelah from to serve as a burial site for his wife Sarah? A. Nahor B. Laban C. Ephron the Hittite D. Lot Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Genesis chapter 23 verse 16 And Abraham hearkened unto Ephron, and Abraham weighed to Ephron the silver, which he had named in the audience of the sons of Heth, four hundred shekels of silver, current money with the merchant. Question 4. What did Abraham say to reassure Sarah when she laughed at the prophecy of having a son in their old age? A. Is anything too hard for the Lord? B. You will bear a son indeed. C. Let not your disbelief make you doubt. D. The Lord has heard your laughter. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Is anything too hard for the Lord? 
At the time appointed I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Book of Genesis chapter 18 verse 14. Question 5. Who interpreted King Nebuchadnezzar's dream in which he saw a great image made of gold, silver, brass, iron, and clay? A. Jeremiah B. Daniel C. Ezekiel D. Isaiah Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 36. This is the dream, and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Question 6. What did Moses' hand become as a sign when he put it into his bosom and took it out, according to God's command? A. A rod. B. A stone. C. Leprous. D. Fiery. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And he said, Put now thine hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. Book of Exodus, chapter 4, verse 6. Question 7. Who did the Lord say would call him my father and not turn away from following him according to Jeremiah? A. The priests. B. Israel. C. The nations. D. The prophets. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. But I said, How shall I put thee among the children and give thee a pleasant land, a goodly heritage of the hosts of nations? And I said, Thou shalt call me my father, and shalt not turn away from me. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 19. Question 8. What did God establish with the house of Israel after bringing them out of the land of Egypt, according to the book of Jeremiah? A. A covenant of peace. B. A covenant that they broke. C. A promise of perpetual prosperity. D. A decree of everlasting worship. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 32. Question 9. Who was commanded by God to speak words unto Job out of a whirlwind? A. Elihu B. Bildad C. The Lord D. Zophar Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Book of Job Chapter 38, verse 1. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Question 10. What was Job's response to God's challenge regarding his understanding of the divine workings? 
A. He repented in dust and ashes. B. He offered sacrifices for his friends. C. He challenged God further. D. He asked for more afflictions. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Then Job answered the Lord and said, I know that thou canst do everything, and that no thought can be withholden from thee. Who is he that hideth counsel without knowledge? Therefore have I uttered that I understood not, things too wonderful for me, which I knew not. Here I beseech thee, and I will speak. I will demand of thee, and declare thou unto me. I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now mine eye seeth thee. Wherefore I abhor myself, and repent in dust and ashes. Book of Job, chapter 42, verses 1 to 6. Question 11. Who did King Darius appoint over the kingdom, that they should be over the whole kingdom in Daniel's time? A. 120 princes and 3 presidents. B. 12 presidents. C. 12 governors. D. 7 counselors and 7 presidents. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom an hundred and twenty princes, which should be over the whole kingdom, and over these three presidents, of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might give accounts unto them, and the king should have no damage. Book of Daniel, chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. Question 12. Whose death did Adam witness according to Genesis? A. Seth B. Cain C. Abel D. None of the above Time to think The right answer is letter D. Genesis does not explicitly mention Adam witnessing the death of any of his children. Question 13. In Exodus, who said, Who made thee a prince and a judge over us? A. Aaron B. The Pharaoh C. One of the Hebrews D. Jethro Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Book of Exodus, chapter 2, verse 14. And he said, Who made thee a prince and a judge over us? Question 14. In the book of Daniel, who was thrown into the den of lions? A. Nebuchadnezzar B. Belshazzar C. Daniel D. Shadrach Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Book of Daniel, chapter 6, verse 16. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. Question 15. 
Which disciple doubted Jesus' resurrection until he saw Jesus with his own eyes? A. James B. Thomas C. Peter D. Matthew Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Gospel of John, chapter 20, verse 27. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. Question 16. Who was Jesus talking to when he said, Before Abraham was, I am? A. The Pharisees B. His disciples C. Herod D. Pilate Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Gospel of John Chapter 8, verse 58, Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Question 17. What did the soldiers place on Jesus' head before he was crucified? A. A crown of gold. B. A crown of thorns. C. A crown of silver. D. A crown of jewels. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, verse 29. And when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head, and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him, and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. Question 18. How many loaves and fish did Jesus use to feed the five thousand? A. Five loaves and three fish. B. Seven loaves and five fish. C two loaves and five fish. D. Five loaves and two fish. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14, verse 17. And they say unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fishes. Question 19. Among the following options, which action taken by Solomon demonstrates his wealth and prosperity? A. Built a fleet of ships. B. Created a great library. C. Established a university. D. Minted his own coins. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. For the king's ships went to Tarshish with the servants of Huram. Every three years once came the ships of Tarshish bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes and peacocks. Second Book of Chronicles, chapter 9, verse 21. Question 20. For whom did Jesus say it would be more tolerable on the day of judgment than for the city of Capernaum? A. Bethsaida. B. Nineveh. C. Jerusalem. D. Sodom. 
Time to think. The right answer is letter D. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 24. Question 21. What did Moses see that symbolized God's presence at Mount Horeb? A. A pillar of fire. B. A cloud of smoke. C. A burning bush. D. A shining star. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 2. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Question 22. Who was Moses speaking to when he said, Choose us out men, and go out, fight with Amalek? A. Pharaoh B. Aaron C. Caleb D. Joshua Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Book of Exodus, chapter 17, verse 9. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out men, and go out, fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in mine hand. Question 23. What object did Moses cast into the waters of Mara to make them sweet? A. A tree. B. A rock. C. A piece of gold. D. A rod. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 25. And he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree, which when he had cast into the waters, the waters were made sweet. There he made for them a statute and an ordinance, and there he proved them. Question 24. What did God show Moses on Mount Sinai besides the Ten Commandments? A. A map of the promised land. B. The design for the tabernacle. C. A vision of the future. D. The Garden of Eden. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Book of Exodus, chapter 25, verse 9. According to all that I show thee, after the pattern of the tabernacle, and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even so shall ye make it. Question 25. What was Moses' reaction when he came down from Mount Sinai and saw the people worshipping the golden calf? A. He joined the celebration. B. He prayed to the Lord for mercy. C. He broke the tablets of the Ten Commandments. D. He blessed the golden calf. Time to think.
The right answer is letter C. Book of Exodus, chapter 32, verse 19. And it came to pass, as soon as he came nigh unto the camp, that he saw the calf and the dancing. And Moses' anger waxed hot, and he cast the tables out of his hands and brake them beneath the mount. Question 26. What did Moses do when Pharaoh refused to let the Israelites go? A. He begged. B. He left Egypt. C. He brought plagues upon Egypt. D. He threatened Pharaoh. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Book of Exodus, chapters 7 to 11. Various passages describe the plagues that Moses brought upon Egypt as a response to Pharaoh's refusal. Question 27. What did Moses' hand become when he put it into his bosom as a sign from God? A. Burned. B. Leprous. C. Injured. D. Strong. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And he said, Put now thine hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. Book of Exodus, chapter 4, verse 6. Question 28. Who helped Moses hold up his hands during the battle against the Amalekites? A. Aaron and Hur. B. Joshua and Caleb. C. Miriam and Zipporah. D. Eliezer and Ithamar. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Exodus, chapter 17, verse 12. But Moses' hands were heavy, and they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat thereon, and Aaron and Hur stayed up his hands, the one on the one side and the other on the other side, and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. Question 29. What was Moses' response when God called him from the burning bush? A. Here am I. B. Who am I? C. Speak, Lord. D. I am ready. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And Moses said, Here am I. Book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 4. Question 30. Who spoke for Moses to Pharaoh as Moses had slow speech? A. Aaron. B. Joshua. C. Miriam. D. Caleb. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And he shall be thy spokesman unto the people, and he shall be, even he shall be to thee instead of a mouth, and thou shalt be to him instead of God. Book of Exodus, chapter 4, verse 16. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, 
Whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.